Hey guys, it's Melody at Cosmetically Challenged. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about putting on eyelashes. I've gotten um, a couple of requests for some people to show them how to put on eyelashes. And so I'm basically going to show you guys um, what my favorite eyelash brand is and what I do to put them on. So first I'm going to show you my favorite eyelash brand. And um, yeah, so this is my eyelash case. Where I have all my eyelashes and you can see like it is one brand of eyelashes. I love I Envy eyelashes by Ruby Kiss. So here they are here. Love, love, love these. Um, I picked these up from um, the makeup show. Um, I think they were also at iMats too. I'm not sure because I was unable to go to iMats unfortunately. But if you can go to a trade show, especially eye mats, if you aren't a makeup artist or anything, um, definitely, definitely stop by the Ruby Kiss booth and grab their eyelashes. Um, I think I was able to get, uh, got, it was either 40 or 50 eyelashes for like, I think like 30 bucks. So it was well worth it because these things are like $3.99. A piece, three ninety nine, four ninety nine, depending on where you go, um, which beauty supply store you go to, a piece. So, anyways, so these are the ones that I picked up. I picked up um, several different kinds. They all came in like this little kit where you had like just tons, fun, fancy ones, or just natural lashes. So these are the natural lashes here. So I'm gonna choose. So this is the look that I'm going for, which is my um, fall look. And so, try. I think I'm gonna choose these beyond natural ones to put on so these are the ones and so what you'll need are a pair of tweezers uh your eyelashes of choice some scissors and you'll also need some eyelash glue the glue that i use is duo i have this kind which is the it goes on white but then it dries clear and i also have a black kind but um my makeup desk is such a mess right now that I have no idea where it is and um yeah so I'm gonna use this kind right here so so the first thing you're gonna do is you notice that your eyelashes come on the uh, container like this so what you can do what I do is to do is I just take my tweezers or actually what I do is I kinda use my fingernail and I kinda get the edge off first because it's kinda it's sticking on there and you just Peel it off like so. So it's just like that. And if you look at it, turn it this way. If you look at it, yeah, there it goes. You kind of see that it has a, a residue on there. Uh, focus, focus. It has a sticky residue on there. So what I'm going to do now is kind of use my fingers and just kind of take off this sticky residue. And I apologize for my fingernails. I've had a long day. So you kind of get that off. And the next thing you want to do is measure your eyelashes to make sure that they line up with your eye. Okay? And the eyelashes usually come with a shorter side and a longer side. So the shorter side is the side that's going to go more towards your inner eye. So I'm going to do this eye since I've grabbed this eyelash. Okay. All right. So you take this and you basically kind of want to line it up to make sure that it's going to fit with what you want. And I'm going to have to look in my mirror, guys. So I apologize if I'm not looking directly in the camera. Okay, and once you see that the eyelash lines up the way you want it, I mean, I find with my Ruby Kiss eyelashes that I don't have to cut them, so I really don't have to cut this one at all. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your Duo glue, use a Q-tip to do it. Some people use the back of their tweezers to do it. What I'm so I just use the back of my tweezers back there and I just apply the glue onto the lash and what I really really make sure to do is to make sure to really get it on the ends because I find for myself that sometimes getting my lashes to stick down on my ends is kind of hard 
And um, I've already put mascara on, so my lashes are curled. So this is going to make the application a little bit... In for me, it makes the application a little bit harder. So what I usually do is I don't, I try not to uh, put mascara on before I put my lashes on. So right now what I'm doing is I'm basically waiting for the glue on the lash to become tacky. Um, I don't want to just put it on right away. I can kind of shake and get it off right now because I want it to become tacky. So that when I do put it on, um, it'll be a lot easier. It'll not be a lot easier, but it'll stay easier. So now what I'm doing is I'm kind of bending the lash into the kind of the shape that I want it to go. And so now that I feel like it's ready, what I'm going to do, and some people use this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lash and I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to start with the side where I have most trouble, and that's with, with my inner corner right here because... For some reason, my lash doesn't like to stay there. And so I, what I've done now is I placed the lash where I wanted it and I'm just kind of holding it there so that it doesn't go anywhere so that it'll stick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to place it on the rest of my lash. And so then what you can do to make sure that it really sticks, you see I have the lash on, it looks natural. You can take it very gentle pressure and just push up against your eye. Just push. Very gentle pressure. You want to make sure that lash is going to stick. And since you've made sure that the glue was tacky, um, the, lash, the lash should stay. So I'm going to do the next lash. And for if you're in a rush, which you can go ahead and do if you're really quick at putting lashes on, you can go ahead and... When you put the glue on the first lash, you can go ahead and be getting your second lash ready so that when it's time to go, like, you're ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take my tweezers, the back of my tweezers, um, and some people use, like I said, Q-tips. It's whatever you feel works going to take my lash here I'm going to take my lash here and I've already cleaned the glue off of it that came from the adhesive that came from the lash holding on and I'm going to apply it there like I said I make sure to really get it on the ends because I really really want it to stay like I really want it to stay especially this inner corner here where I have like the most trouble and then now you just wait for this to get tacky same as the other eye. I wiped it off so I don't have any more glue on my tweezers. So now what I'm going to do is apply it to the other eye. And I hope you guys can see. You guys can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, I kind of have this lash a little bit too high here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, pull it. See how it came loose and you're just going to hold it right there because that's where you want it to sit. And you're just going to apply pressure because that's where you want the lash to sit. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so now that I have the lash on, the next thing that you can do is you can kind of go over the lash again using um, your black eyeliner. And what I like to use is the liquid eyeliner. So the liquid eye eyeliner that I have on right now is Black Track by MAC. So if I were to be going out right now, what I would do is just go back over this little inner corner right here to make it thicker and then kind of go over the lashes, just the top, very, very lightly so that you have a stronger black line. So that's it. That's how you apply your lashes. Fast and easy to go out. It practice does make perfect. You probably won't get it on the first try. It took me forever to finally learn how to put my lashes on and still sometimes I struggle, especially with my inner corners. So just practice. Remember some of the best glue is duo um, glue. Do not use hair glue to put your lashes on. It's don't just don't do it just just don't do it so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions at all please let me know thanks for watching cosmetically challenge bye